Do you miss having tater tots, french fries, hash browns? Well, guess what? Zucchini is an awesome substitute. Today, we're making zucchini-based tater tots in my low-carb kitchen. Now, the wonderful thing about using zucchini for the tater tot, it's so easy to shred and it tastes really good. And you won't really notice to me anyway, I, I didn't, it, it didn't miss a beat as far as substituting that for an actual potato style tater tot. So with that, first thing you wanna do is you want to prep your um, squash, your zucchini. So you, typically you want, you want about two cups of shredded zucchini. So I'm gonna just cut off the ends. And because this one is so large, I'm actually gonna go ahead and cut it in half because I'm gonna feed it into my food processor to shred. But what I wanna do first is I wanna take out some of the seeds because the bigger the, the zucchini is, sometimes the seeds can be a little bit too bitter. So I don't really want that in here. So that is gonna take out some of my squash, but that's why I have this little one here to make up enough, hopefully for two cups. If not, I still have more in my fridge. But anyway, with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and just, I'll just show you what it looks like, but I'm just gonna scoop it out if I can with the spoon and I'm just, you know, I'm not going that deep. I'm just, again, just taking out the seeds as I go. So it's that easy, it really is that simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up. Then we're gonna go ahead and start shredding this puppy. So I've got my food processor all set up. I've got my uh, shredding blade on. Uh, I'm gonna put my lid on. Now, if you don't have a food processor, don't worry about it. You can certainly use like a, a block shredder or if you have one that you hold by hand, you can certainly use that. That's not a problem. Just make sure when you're shredding your zucchini, when you get to the end, don't try to get that last inch. You don't wanna slip and cut up your hand. You just don't wanna do that. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and I've got my feeding tube off and I'm gonna just start feeding this squash in here. And I'm just gonna turn it on so it's gonna get a little loud, but let me turn that off. It's low enough. Now I'm gonna start using my feeding tube just cause the zucchini was pretty long. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on and start feeding it. So now I'm ready for the next slice. Probably just hold it. I'm just gonna hold it with my topper. So here we go. So that's pretty quick. What I'm gonna do is open it up. So I'm gonna take this off and you can see that's what I'm talking about. It's all shredded. Now I'm gonna need to use the smaller one definitely, but you want about two full, uh, two full cups with this. All right, I have my zucchini all chopped up nice. So what I'm gonna do now uh, to finish the prep of the zucchini is I'm going to drain it. Now the problem we have with zucchini, uh, if you've ever made zoodles, um, use them for noodles or anything like that, is zucchini has a lot, a lot of water in it. And you don't want to just stick them uh, into the oven if you're making tater tots because the water will just get over the place and you won't have potato, uh, tater tots, you'll just have a liquidy mess. So what I'm gonna do right here is I have I usually do this over the sink, but I'm gonna do it here so you can see. I've got my I got it in a, a strainer or a colander, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add about a tablespoon or excuse me a teaspoon of sea salt. So I'm just adding that in here. I'm gonna mix it all up. Seems like it's a lot of salt, but it's gonna come off when as the water comes out. And the salt I'm using simply because that'll draw out help draw out the water. So you do this for about 15-20 minutes. Uh, you just want all that water to come out of your squash. And then the salt is gonna, the rest of the salt will come off when you actually dry your zucchini. And we'll get to that in just a moment. It's been about 20 minutes. My zucchini has been dripping in the bowl. What I'm gonna do is I'm, I'm gonna just press, since I have a colander, and just sort of squeeze out. And if you can see this, you can see some liquid bubbling up. So, ooh, I just heard dripping but I'll show you what it looks like underneath. I'm gonna go ahead and fluff that out a little bit. You can see it's still looking juicy, but you can see all that liquid in there. That's a lot of liquid that you can see in there. So what I'm gonna do next, I'm gonna move this out of the way and I'm going to go ahead and use paper towels. And this is sort of the final thing I, uh, I'll do to get, again, a little bit more liquid out and also take out some of the extra salt. I'm just gonna spread this around on a paper towel you can, just touching, you can see how wet it is. And what I'm gonna do is get another paper towel, which I didn't have handy, but that's okay. It's right on the side. So I'm just gonna press. 
And you can see, look at that liquid come up. Oh, this guy was really, really juicy. <laughs> all right, I've got my zucchini in my, in my bowl. I'm gonna start adding in all the ingredients to make a delicious tater tot. So first I've, I took uh, two eggs. I went ahead and already beat the eggs. I'm just gonna add them to here. About half a cup of cheddar cheese. It's all shredded. Half a cup of shredded Parmesan cheese. Half a cup of diced onions. A lot of half cups. And then I'm gonna add some seasoning. I'm adding a, um, my uh, Korean uh, red pepper or Korean style red pepper. And I'm only adding this. You can add whatever seasoning you want. You could add garlic if you prefer or oregano, whatever you'd like. I'm just doing it because I bought this a couple of weeks ago. And my rule is when I buy something exotic that I don't normally buy, I use it as much as possible because otherwise it's just a wait and it'll sit in a cupboard and get stale. You don't want to do that. The last ingredient I'm adding is a tablespoon and I'm using um, golden flax seed meal. You can use almond flour if you prefer or even coconut flour. That really is up to you. I like the flax seed meal simply because it's really high in omega-3s and also it's low in carbs. That's about what I add. It was about roughly two carbs and the bulk of that is fiber. So I'm just now going to mix all this up. You really want to mix it all up together really well. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit of liquid smoke and I'm only adding about a teaspoon of it to this because I want sort of that smoky, I want a smoky taste to it because it goes really well with that Korean uh, style red pepper. And then just mix that right in. It smells really good. Now this should make about 24 uh, tater tots. You can certainly form them with your hands in the shape of a tater tot if you'd like. You can go right ahead and do that. I found this muffin tin at Williams Sonoma that I loved and it's small and it makes 24. So it turns out this was perfect for the recipe. So I'm taking um, about, it's about roughly a tablespoon, maybe a little bit less, and I'm just dropping a scoop in there. I don't like to fill it all the way up to the top. Um, if I have anything left over, because obviously it's hard to tell with the zucchini how much you have, I'll just go ahead and add that as I go. But right now, you just sort of, like I said, just scoop it all in. I'm sort of playing it by ear, don't want any stragglers hanging out. You just scoop it and it falls right in. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this up and then it's gonna go in the oven. It's gonna go in the oven for about 20 minutes at 400 degrees. It's been about 20 minutes. They're out of the oven. They look awesome. They're nice and brown. I'm gonna go ahead and flip them out of my pan if I get my glove on. Because <laughs> the pan's very hot. So hopefully, I'm gonna try to do it quick. There we go. Oh, they all came out awesome. Let me put that over here. And you can see they're definitely brown, but they're solid. They're all together, which is great. And they smell delicious. They look amazing. I'm going to let them cool off before I pop one. Very small. You can shape them into tater tots if you want, but I find the muffin pan is just a lot easier for me. Just scoop, put it in there and bake. Now for the muffin pan, what I did use is I did use just a spray to grease it so that nothing sticks to it especially when you're using eggs things tend to stick you can use ghee if you would like to or even butter but i just it was easier and i was sort of trying to get this done for our lunch so with that they look delicious i'm gonna try mm, i'm gonna go ahead i love it it tastes so good it's a great treat to have it's a nice side dish kids would love it definitely so definitely give these a try. They are awesome and easy to make. So if you like what you see, subscribe, hit the thumbs up, and until next time, I'll see you.